Okay, here's a resource, deltamath.com. And it says teacher here because I've already created my account. And how I do that is on the right side, it'll say create account on the page before this. I used my Liberty County email and came up with a password. So now it's saved. Every time I go in, it just automatically comes up. What I want to show you, though, is it's a great resource, and I would like to use it for exponents because that's converting scientific notation and multiplying and dividing scientific notation and your powers, which is the section we're working on now. Powers, um, I'd like to go ahead and view this. All right, and this is how the students use it. We got t to the third times t, which we know is to the first power. There's an imaginary one there. So I have three T's and another T, so that is T, and they do have to do this correctly. T to the fourth power. Now, so this keyboard right here is where you find your exponents. Now, um, that is something that you may leave, you know, you might leave this up there for them to see. How to get that it has to be in the right form. However, it does get them GMOS ready for... Um, using the internet um, to answer questions. Now, the great thing about it is that because it's Delta Math, it shows them how the problem was worked and it gives them a solution. They also used um, the exponent rule, of course, which was if bases are the same and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. So we're going to add those. Three plus one is four. Add the powers that be, they show them that, how it's worked. Love it. Even if they get it wrong, it's going to show them. Now, when I go to create, I want to create this assignment, I'm going to have to go to um, give it a name. So we're doing exponents. And I would select a class. Well, um, you have to input that. So we don't have that right away. So we're just going to create our assignment. And we're going to do that by saying, yes, I want that. Whoops. Um, skills. Create assignment. Oops. Okay, got to add them. Okay. Exponents, exponent rules, multiplying powers, raising powers to powers, dividing powers. And um, they're required to do five of each problem. So what you can change, though, is... And some of the kids complained, you know, if they got one wrong, they um, had a penalty, which means that they would have to do more problems. Um, but you can require, you know, three of each or ten of each, whatever you feel is important or something that will help them. And so you create your assignment. I don't have a class to choose at this time, but I'm going to save it anyway. And it was successfully added. So I can go back and view assignments and you will see that it gives what they score on it and um, without giving people's names out there so you will be able to see their scores uh, once you create your account very very um, easy to use though and get add that to our clever account I mean our canvas account all right um, hope that helps and good luck thanks